we have balance by partial equation method. So we have copper plus nitric acid equals copper nitrate plus um, dinitrogen oxide plus H2O. So in order to balance this out, we're going to first write out the formula, copper plus HNO3 turns into CuNO32 plus N2O plus H2O. So with that being said, first thing you want to do, actually because this will technically be a redox equation, you want to be able to balance out in regards to the change in the um, the oxidation number for each one. But in order to balance it out, you have to know what's changed. So copper, because it starts out as an element, it has an oxidation number of zero. Okay, let's wrap, make it in red to make it stand out. HNO3. Oxygen typically has an oxidation number of minus two, and there's three of them, so that's minus six. Hydrogen has usually plus one, and because there's one of them, it's going to be plus one. So in order for nitric acid to be neutral in total, this has to be plus five on the nitrogen. So nitrogen here is plus five. Now the copper here, well actually before we get there, we actually look at the uh, nitrate part. Oxygen once again is minus two, and there'll be minus two. Whoops, sorry. There's three of them, so that's minus six. And nitrogen, okay, in this case, because NO3 nitrate is typically one minus, which is the result of having the plus five here so so far nothing has changed but the copper okay because there's plus five minus six and there's two of them the difference in total is going to be not minus one but minus two so copper needs to be plus two now in order to make up for it so now we see there's a change in the copper now for n2o same thing here oxygen likes to be minus two and there's only one of them so nitrogen has to be plus two here, and because there's two of them, that means each nitrogen was plus one, okay? And now with H2O, oxygen is minus two, minus two, and there's two hydrogens, so it's plus two, so plus one. So now we look at these bottom numbers here and mark down which has changed. Copper goes from zero to plus two. That marks the change. Hydrogen stays plus one wherever it is. Oxygen stays minus two wherever it is. But nitrogen goes from plus five not to plus five that's here, but there's also a plus one that's here, okay? So now, in terms of the change, we have copper, okay, turns into copper two plus, because that's what it is here, plus two electrons that have left that copper. Nitrogen, on the other hand, has gone from nitrogen, well, some form, nitrogen five plus, plus, how many electrons get to one? That'd be four electrons. Turns into nitrogen plus. That's what it is there. Okay. But as you notice here specifically, we have N2O. Okay. So that means in regards to this, because there has to at least be two nitrogens. So we need to double this. Just to mark it a different color two of the N plus in that N2O. So in reality, we have two of everything here, which translates to eight electrons and two nitrogen five plus. All right. And now let's try to cancel the electrons. But wait, there is four times more electrons from the nitrogen side than the copper side. So in order to make up for it, we also have to multiply everything up here by four. Okay, so now we have for copper, which goes into four copper two plus, plus eight electrons there. And you'll see finally that these two will cancel out, leading our formula to be, if we now replace it based on what was listed up there, we have four copper plus, we're gonna leave this blank for now because we don't know in regards to, because there's multiple places where nitrogen occurs in the products, so we don't wanna list that reactant nitrogen just yet. But we can say a specific type of nitrogen does show up once at least because the N2O 
contains a 2 and plus that change. So going forward, we have 4 copper turns into 4 copper and 0, 3, 2 plus N to O. And we also don't know how many uh, H2Os we have. We just know we have this, okay? There's four coppers which is needed for the two nitrogens here, okay? So now with that being said, we've technically balanced out the electrons part. But let's see how many nitrogens we have to know how many HNO3 we have. We have here two nitrogens, yep, and then we have two more times four, so that's eight. So two plus eight, we need 10 nitric acids. So we have 10 HNO3, okay? And because we have that, we can now say how many of those will turn into H2O. So because we're gonna base it off of just the hydrogen because there's a lot of oxygen showing up in different places, you never wanna to try to guesstimate based on something that appears multiple times in the products, which is kind of why we were building based on the things that occurred only once. So because there's 10 H2O, we know we need at least five, I mean, because there's 10 H's, we need at least five H2O here, okay? So now with all that being said, hopefully this should balance out. Let's start by actually the simplest way, um, count the oxygens to see if they match. So 10 HNO3 nitric acid is 30 oxygen total. And from this NO3 formula, we have six times four, that'll be 24, okay? And then there's one from the N2O, and then from the five, H2O, five. So 24 plus one plus five, that is indeed 30. So that means this right here is our balanced chemical equation based on partial equation method, which is just indicating the um, oxidation reduction reaction. So that's what we did first, we balanced it out. And as you can see here, we translated that four and that two nitrogens here. That's where it happened. And because of that, we were able to get the answer to this question. So with that being said, let's see here. 4 plus 10 HNO3 is equal to 4 CuNO3 plus 5 H2O plus 1 N2 0. So with that, this is correct. Okay. Because exactly, we were able to go through, bounce out, First, the electrons gained and lost, they have to be even. And then we went further by then specifically uh, bouncing the rest of the equation based on the tools we were given from the prior parts. And now I'm going to question number four.